What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Corretto. I'm a US CPA that lives in Mexico City. And on this channel, I teach you accounting, audit, personal finance, professional development, and everything it takes to be an awesome CPA. Today, I'm gonna to talk about a really, really, really important topic, and that is, how hard is a CPA exam? The CPA exam is something that I took many years ago, but I was able to pass all four parts on the first try. And today I'm going to go over why I think I was able to pass all four parts on the first try and answer the question of is CPA exam really that hard? I think the biggest thing I did to set then and I'm, I'm going to go over kind of the main things that why the, the reasons why I was able to pass the CPA exam in such a short amount of time. The first thing I did and going straight into it is I set an exam date for every single exam. I'm going to take you guys back to when I graduated in college on June 10th, 2014. Yes, I graduated that long ago. I can't believe it myself. I graduated on June 10th, 2014. And right when I graduated, I wish someone would have told me, hey, Brian, by the way, there's going to be a certain amount of months after you graduate or even when you're putting in all your paperwork depending on what state you live in i lived in california it took two to three months before i was even eligible to sit for the exam they had to review all my paperwork they had to make sure everything was squared away and with that it took a long time for me to be able to sit for the exam. So I wasn't able to sit for the exam until about June, July, August, till about August, September was my first exam that I took. And that was regulation, which was horrendous. But looking back at the first exam and all the, all the remaining three, the reason I was able to pass is because I set an exam date. I wasn't just studying to study or I was just like, Hey, I'm going to study here. I'm going to study there. No, I set an exam date. I got my exam approval. I had my date scheduled and I would just your NTS, your notice schedule. I scheduled my exam and I studied for that exam. That is what I was doing. And I got into what I like to call exam mode during this time. I was focused. I was driven. I knew exactly what I was working for. And I would always give myself, depending on the exam, I would give myself anywhere from six to eight weeks. I don't think let, I don't think you need less than that. And I don't think you need more than that. I think with each exam that you're taking, I think six to eight weeks is more than enough. The second thing I knew exactly what I was working for. I know I mentioned that already, but since I set an exam date every day, I woke up, I knew exactly what my goal was. I knew exactly what I needed to do. I knew exactly that. Hey, go, looking, looking backwards. If I have an exam two months from now, I work backwards and I set up a schedule to make sure I'm able to cover all of the material in the allotted time that I have. And I also give myself usually one week to review everything at the end. So usually I gave myself whatever, if I gave myself eight weeks of study, I would be done with the entire material. I use Becker. I'm not trying to plug them. I'm not paid by them, but I did use Becker. I thought they were great. I used them for seven weeks. Let's say I studied for seven weeks and then I would use one week to pretty much do like a full on review before I actually took the exam. The third thing I did, I did not deviate from this plan. I never deviated from the plan. I set the exam date. I worked backwards. I set up a schedule, a daily schedule that I would follow to a T religiously. And every day I would follow this plan. I didn't deviate from it. The fourth thing I did, I stayed sober. I did not drink alcohol. I didn't, I don't really do any of those other things, but <laughs> I stayed sober and my relationships, whether they were romantic or friendships, I kept them to a minimum, if not eliminated completely. Believe me when I tell you, I'm 32 years old now. I do have, I now am in a fully committed relationship. I have a great girlfriend. I have great friends. But looking back when I was younger and I, I, took, I was 22 years old when I took the exam, Looking back at those years, believe me when I tell you, there's not a party I missed that I regret. There's not a girl that I didn't go on a date with that I regret not going on. There's not a friend thing that I did that I missed that I regret till this day. I don't even remember what I missed. The only thing I remember is seeing those three letters at the end of my name every single day. Every day I wake up, every day I'm able to sign a paper, every day I'm able to tell someone, hey, I'm a CPA and that was what I was working for. And maybe you think that's, I don't know, disingenuous. Maybe you think that's a little egotistical. Whatever it was, that's what I was working towards every single day. And I kept those relationships and friendships and certain things, especially I didn't have the luxury when I start, when I graduated June 10th, 2014, I started working on November 10th, 2014. So I literally only had maybe six months of full-time study. And then I started working and I had to take two exams while I was working. So I didn't have the luxury to go out on the weekend and be tired on a Sunday and just say, Hey, I, I can't study. I didn't deviate from the plan. I knew what I had to do. And I skipped out on a certain amount of things in order to accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. And lastly, the last thing I did, I just executed. I set up a plan going back to square one. I set an exam date. I worked backwards. 
I set up a daily schedule onto what I needed to get done, what modules I needed to cover, what I needed to study, and I knew that it was gonna take me two times as long as it takes most people since I didn't really understand the material that well, although I love accounting, it didn't come that easy for me. So I set an exam date, I didn't deviate from the plan, and I just executed, I knew what I had to do, I cut out certain distractions, and I did what I had to do. The CPA exam, to answer it in the most concise, short way, it's not a hard exam. Believe me when I tell you, if you graduated from a good school that has a great accounting program where you actually learn that debits are on the left, credits are on the right, you are already halfway to a CPA. It's more so the discipline and how much do you really want to take this exam seriously and how much do you really want to do it? How much is this CPA exam really something you want to do? Is it something that you're forced to do? Because I could promise you, no one had to force me to get up and study. No one had to force me to get, study all night when I had just worked all day. No one had to do that for me. I did it for myself because I knew it was going to provide me a certain amount of skills and credibility in the marketplace to be able to, to ask for a higher wage and to be able to give myself options in the marketplace if I wanted to start my own business, if I wanted to continue to grow with in the firm, I knew I had to do these things. So in summary, the CPA exam, it's not a difficult exam. It's more so on how disciplined you are, how much do you really want it? And if you're willing to put in the work, I can promise you, you will get the CPA license. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the video today. If you found value in this video, please make sure to uh, subscribe, hit the like button below. Until next time, work hard, dress well. Peace.